and welcome to today's show i'm your host molo collins and of course this is the 15th week of the english premier league and it's a big one this time round and chelsea will be meeting manchester united at old trafford and this will be 194th time that both chelsea and manchester united have played together in the fixture of english premier league do you remember this is the season of 2023 a 2024 season and the times that Manchester United have faced Chelsea Manchester United have won the bigger chunk of those fixtures Manchester United having won 82 times and Chelsea on the other hand have won 50 times 55 times for that matter and it has ended on a draw on 55 times and on set today I'm glad to have coach Maish and coach Maish is making a comeback after a very long hiatus. Coach Maish, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be in this show. Always a pleasure to have you on set, mm -hmm. Coach Maish. Well, Manchester United will be playing at home, Coach Maish, and it's not very rosy for Eric Ten Hag this season because Ma Manchester United is having a very, very difficult time this season under Eric Ten Hag. Yeah, most definitely. I think this is the worst season that uh, Manchester have ever been and I do believe they are still sinking and I don't know if they should be told that uh, whenever you are in a hole you don't uh, try, uh, you don't dig deeper, you just try your way up but then I think they are doing the opposite, yeah. Yeah, according to coach, my sentiments, Manchester United is doing the opposite. And could it be this time round that this is the time that Manchester United can kickstart their season against Chelsea at Old Trafford? No, I don't believe because there is a resurgence of Chelsea and you can see by the way they've been playing the last uh, three games. I think uh, they have come out, they've come out uh, good and uh, Manchester, I think uh, they, they are very unpredictable. You don't know when they will win or when they lose. So I do believe it's uh, uh, the, the one that uh, have an upper hand in this game is Chelsea because they've shown it uh, even in the game that they played against Chelsea. They were up there with the best. I think uh, they, they just they were in at their best. Those are Coach Mai's sentiments and he's saying that Chelsea at the moment is the team that is on form compared to Manchester United. And before we move on, I'd just like to give you the results of the four last matches that Manchester and Chelsea have played are uh, coming to this fixture and so that Manchester United against Luton, Manchester United won by a single goal against Everton, Manchester United also won by three goals to nil and Manchester United was defeated by a solitary goal against Newcastle United and Manchester United also played against Fulham and they won that match by a single goal and Chelsea on the other hand has been on a resurgence just as Manchester just as a coach Maish has mentioned at Chelsea are on a resurgence and they drew against Tottenham they also drew against Manchester City and it was a high scoring match and Chelsea came from behind to salvage a point against Manchester City and Chelsea they played also against Newcastle and Chelsea lost that match by a solitary goal and more recently Chelsea played against Brighton and Chelsea won at three goals to nil. Gallagher being shown a red card in that match. Well, Pochettino is doing a good job at Stamford Bridge, but it's the opposite of what Eric Ten Hag is doing at Old Trafford. Your take on that? No, I do believe uh, it's all about leadership. And when you are the boss up there, you got to call the shot. But then, when it comes that uh, you don't know how to control your, your troop, then I think you are missing the point. And I do believe Ten Hag, just like any other coach, he needs to make his, his, uh, his presence uh, felt 
even in the board, uh, boardroom meeting, because I do believe that's where he's feeling. Because when you have such talent as Sancho and uh, the, the academy uh, kids, I don't think you'll struggle that much because you have everything in your, at, your, at your bosom, at your hand. So I do believe it's you to call the shot. And I think that's where Ten Hag is missing the point. And if somebody is not performing, now, just give him a break. Bring those kids that are doing fine, uh, that are showing that uh, they, they've got uh, uh, the, the psyche to, to go on, like Mino. You can see if given a chance, that boy is performing. Then there is this pastry. So I do believe those are the kids that you should bring in that they, may, they, they might find a, a touch for the ball and they will give you uh, another outlook as uh, concerning your play because every player has got how he, he performs and how he, he behaves in every game. So I think, just like I've said and I'll repeat, that uh, there are people who need to be benched at the moment. I think Rashford is one of them. And uh, they, are, they are also the midfield. We can see that uh, it is not clicking. So we are losing in the midfield. We are losing a lot of balls. And uh, that's how, how we are getting punished. So I do believe even the midfield needs an, an, a, a new outlook. Yeah. Of course, the midfield of Manchester United needs a new outlook. Well, let's move on to... Chelsea, and we see that Chelsea is being coached by a very experienced man in the name of Pochettino. And Pochettino has been in the English Premier Leagues, and he knows the ins and the outs and the do's and don'ts that normally happen in the English Premier League. Do you think that so far Pochettino has done a good job for Chelsea? No. In regard to where Chelsea was or is playing, I think at the moment they are not at the best they are yet to produce the best because this is where they found themselves even in the la la last time uh, last time fixture the league that are uh, ended they found themselves in a very uh, precarious uh, ground so i do believe he has to also to work out a way so that he may bring the best out of uh, Chelsea. Now, I do believe you have not seen the best of, uh, of Chelsea because when you see them playing, you can see that uh, they've got the touch, they've got uh, a feeling that uh, they can do good than what they are doing at the moment. Chelsea can do good than what they are doing at the moment. Those are the sentiments of coach Maish. Now, coming to these fixtures, we see that Manchester United currently at the log is at the seventh position and Chelsea, on the other hand, is on a tenth position. Is it now the opportune time for these two teams to take advantage and prove a point in this match for the remainder of the season? Your take on that? No, I think the way they are playing, they aren't showing any improvement because just like uh, last year, last season, this is the same position that they were, they, were, they were in. And I do believe if at all there won't be a, a change in, in tactic, I do believe that's where they are. Because you can see the, the, the team that are before them or are... are, are are leading in, the, in their chart. Now, they have consistent. But then when you look at uh, Manchester United, you look at Chelsea, now, they, they are sometimes cold, they are sometimes hot, and you, do, you, you, do, you don't know what to expect of them. So I think they've got to up their game. Of course, Chelsea and Manchester United have to up their game. And I'd just like to throw uh, this question to you, and it's regarding uh, Marcus Rashford. Uh, Marcus Rashford was the most improved player for Manchester United last season and we see this season that he has received a lot of bashing especially from different quarters of the media and the fans especially that match against Newcastle we could see Marcus Rashford literally walking in the pitch and sometimes jogging instead of trying to help his teammates out. 
just a few words, what could be the mistake that Rashford is making and what can you tell him to do or maybe to improve his match at the moment? No, I think Rashford is at, the, at his lowest uh, in regard to form and I do believe that uh, the coach has to give him a break and uh, at least he shouldn't be wasting m much time on the field. So he should uh, at least uh, uh, cut his uh, playing time and I do believe uh, like uh, bring him in the uh, second half or first half and see how he perform because in as much as you rely on him there are no goals coming from him then I think you are doomed so I do believe the best thing you can do to that uh, boy is give him uh, a break of course, Marcus Rashford really needs a break at the moment. Now, let's move to Chelsea. We see that Chelsea is missing a very, very important player in the name of Gallagher. Gallagher has been a very crucial player for Chelsea this season and was shown a red card when Chelsea played, just recently when Chelsea played against Brighton. Do you think that Chelsea will really miss Gallagher in this match against Manchester United? No, I don't think so. Because now uh, Chelsea has got uh, a very good, uh, uh, a very good uh, uh, lineup. So I do believe uh, somebody will fill the the, the hole for Kalaga, and I do believe that they won't miss him. Uh, in as much as you are saying, he's from the academy. So I do believe that uh, he has. Uh, so much potential even in his squad. So I do believe there will, there will be somebody who will come up and step up for Kalaga. Of course, Chelsea has a very big squad for that matter and they, they have a plethora of talents mm -hmm. in that Chelsea first 11. Now, let me also throw this question to you. Do you think that a person yeah. to steer Manchester United towards the success that they are yearning for this season? Now, when you look at a coach, then I do believe you just want to know his performance. And currently, I don't think uh, uh, he's up there with, with the best uh, coaches that we, uh, we have ever had uh, in Manchester. So I do believe he's, uh, he's not performing according to the expectation of people. Because people have expectation. Just like uh, Manchester is one of the biggest team in Europe. Now, see where we are. We are just languishing in defeats after defeat. And uh, when you, you just check, uh, 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 the last time you check, we are, we are almost gone even in Champions League. We won't be playing in Champions League. Now the number that we are in, so also speak a volume of how Manchester is playing. Now I, do, I think we are... We are deep in a in in, in a hole, and uh, unless we we find a way out, I I think uh, we are done. We are done. Unless Manchester United find a solution, and really quick, man, uh, going by the words of Coach Maish, then Manchester United are doomed. And the last nine fixtures that Manchester United have played against top nine teams that Manchester United have won none and the best that Manchester United have done is a draw and that poor form runs way back to last season. Well I think now this is the end of the show and it was glad again to have you on the show. Coach Maish, just your final sentiments as we bring this to a close. No, I think by what you have said, the latter, what you have said about uh, the form of Manchester against the big teams. Now I do believe it tells you a volume, tells you that uh, we've got uh, so much to catch, uh, to, to, to catch up with uh, because now this is not the Manchester you knew because if you don't uh, defeat the big teams then I, I think you, you, you aren't even there with the best. So I, I think that's where the competition is. Uh, defeating the big teams, the big guns, Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, uh, Man City. Now, if you do that, 
then I think you are you are you are good. But then with the current form, you can just tell how Manchester is performing. It's poorly, poorly, poorly dom dominated even by teams that are were never even given a chance against Manchester.